what's up guys i actually just got done filming this video uh just got inside got cleaned up a little bit but stay tuned watch this video all the way through it's a little bit different than what i usually post on the channel but i liked it and i think you guys are going to really enjoy it too so stay tuned to see some micro creek fishing Okay, so I actually just came in a different way than I usually come in, but I just saw a couple fish swimming around in this pool right here, so we're going to try it. I think there's a couple creek chubs down in here. That's what they look like to me, so we're going to put a worm on and see what happens, but if not, I definitely think we can catch some in this other area. Oh, one just picked it up, played with it. I think these are too small. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna go over here to this other puddle. All right, we're coming up over here on the main creek. That other one was just a little feeder creek, which right here where the two of them meet, there's a big pool. This is one of the first good spots on this little tiny creek. So we're gonna see what we can get right here in this hole. Oh, oh. They gotta get the hook all the way. They might've just took my worm. I'm not sure what they are. All right, we're gonna get a different angle. We're gonna come over here. And try to get one. I might've scared them off by coming over here. I think that those fish knew whenever I jumped. So next time I'm gonna have to stay off of them a little bit. This pool right here doesn't look as deep, but it is pretty big. So I'm gonna try it and we're gonna see if there's anything in here. I see some activity, but that doesn't mean that there's gonna be fish that will bite. So, oh, I see a couple of little fish right there. We're gonna make our bobber a little bit deeper. Oh, there's the big one right there. It actually might be a big creek chub. Oh, I got one. I got one, guys. Oh, yes. We got one, our first one. Got a little tiny baby warm out. Check that out. Got our first one today, a little tiny warm mouth, right here in the creek. Awesome, love it. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and put him back in. I'm gonna put them in down here. That way we don't scare any of the other ones off. This water is so clear. There he goes. There he goes, right there. <laughs> All right, I've still got my worm. We're gonna go ahead and throw it back out there. And see, we've already got some hitting it. Oh gosh, there was a big one right there, guys. See, the reason why I'm waiting after they hit it is because these fish are so small, it's really hard sometimes for them to actually take the whole hook. So sometimes you gotta wait until a decent one grabs it. And I think we have a big creek chub right here. Also see a big war mouth. Oh, we got one, we got one. Already got our second species, a little creek chub. We're gonna go ahead and get him back too. This one's not too big, you can see but he's a couple inches, still fun. It's so awesome seeing them eat the bait. There he goes. I've still got some worm left, but I'm gonna put on a little bit more because I feel like whenever I have a lot of worm, they usually get the hook a little bit better and I can usually catch them. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread this on up I 
There we go. First cast, it's gonna get torn up. I really wanna catch this big one. He's probably a good eight, nine inch creek chub. Oh my gosh, that one just slammed me. Oh, I got him. I think this is the big, oh no, he came off. That was the big one. Oh my goodness, no. No, that was the big one. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I'm gonna throw it back out there and see if we can't get that one. I really wanted to catch that one. I actually had him hooked. I don't know if he'll bite it again now. Oh my gosh. That sucks. That really sucks. That was a big creek chub. I see him. He's still, he's still down there. He's still down there, guys. He might eat it. Because... He's still looking around where the bait is. Oh, I got one. I got one. Still isn't the big one. I see him still swimming down there. But this one might be a little bit bigger than our last one. Another creek chub. This is usually what you catch in these smaller creeks. And if I'm not mistaken, I think these are just baby carp is all they are. Get him back in. We're going for big girl. She's down here somewhere. Oh my gosh, that was a warm mouth. It has to be a warm mouth. Yep, it is. It is. The reason I could tell that that's a warm mouth is because he ran out so quick from underneath the cover these guys usually like to sit under rocks and wood, and he was actually sitting underneath that tree right there. And I watched him come out with my Costas, and he just came out and just hammered that thing. About the same size. Go ahead and put him back. There he goes. I'm still trying to catch this big one. I still want to catch it so bad and he's just haunting me because he's just sitting here in this pool and he's like nope ain't gonna catch me oh oh my gosh that was another big one are you kidding me these chubs they just don't eat it near as good as those warm mouth do they've taken almost all of my worm Oh, there's a big one. There he is. There he is. I got him. Yes. Yes. I think this is one of the bigger ones. I think this is one of the bigger ones right here. Oh my gosh. This is one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. This might be my PB chub. Look at this sucker. This thing right here is good sized. Look at this thing. Right there, in the top of the mouth. That's a good one right there, guys. Finally caught this good one. I'm so excited that I caught this one. Because I've been trying to catch it for so long. There he goes. Went ahead and put him back in there. He's just chilling up under this log. Look at him. That is awesome. That's awesome.
There it goes, back up the creek. I'm excited about that one, guys. And we got some dope footage of him swimming away. So that one was totally worth the wait. And that was definitely my biggest creek chub. Oh my gosh, it's like a feeding frenzy. Oh, that's the big one. That's another big one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got a big warm mouth. I got a good sized warm mouth. That's what that was. I saw him sitting next to the rock. I thought it was a chub. He's actually a warm mouth. You see that one right there. Beautiful warm mouth. That's a pretty good one for this size creek. Oh, there we go. Quick release. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead, work my way down the creek. All right guys, right over this log is one of the best pools in this whole creek. Yep, there he is. Oh my gosh, I'm hung in the tree. He's got me hung in the tree. Oh my gosh, no, I think he came off. That's ridiculous. This is, this is not bass fishing. Warmouth are not supposed to be that smart. So I'm just hit it again, even though I just pulled that tree limb out. Oh, there he is. I just saw that one. Oh, this is a bluegill. Went ahead and knocked out our third species for the day. Hopefully we can catch like four different species. That'd be awesome. I think these are the only three that live in here. We'll go ahead and throw them back. There he goes. Oh, oh wow, that's, that's like a, I guess that would be a yellow breast or something. I'm not sure what type of fish this is. It's got a bigger mouth, almost like a warm mouth. So I think he might be a cross between a warm mouth and some type of sunfish, but I'm not sure. If you guys know, leave me a comment below. Well, it uh, looks like we're going to get a little wet because we're going to have to step on this log. All right, move down a little bit. All right, I've seen a couple of fish up here. I haven't even walked up to the puddle yet because those fish are pretty good size and I don't want to scare them off. So I'm trying to decide if I want to stand here or walk up there, especially with the sun, because the sun's shining right on that pool. So it's going to be a little bit harder to not scare them off. I guess I'm going to try to sneak up here at least a little bit, and then I'll just cast. Oh my gosh. As soon as it hit the water, they all just zoomed right to it. Oh my, well, he caught us a little, that's the same one as I caught, the one I couldn't tell if it was a warm out or not. Go ahead and put him back. Mm -hmm.